a former senator from South Carolina and a senior advisor at Citizens for Self-Government. Matt Schlapp is chairman of the American Conservative Union. Um, so I just want to ask you all, you both have been in Washington a while, and I, and I want, as always, to give this administration the benefit of the doubt, because nobody else does. What's the point of this? I don't see how this advances the aims of the administration. No, I can see how the president's frustrated, but there is no better man than Jeff Sessions and, and no greater supporter, as you said, of his agenda. I think it would be a big mistake uh, to push him out because uh, Jeff will make the Justice Department what it's supposed to be, and I think the president will be very proud uh, after several years. It seems like, and, and I don't think I'm overstating this, that Jeff Sessions is one of the only people working around the president who really believes in what the president ran right. on. That's not a popular message here in Washington, mm -hmm. the soft nationalism, soft populism of the campaign. People hate that here. Why is Sessions, of all people, I remember being picked out? election night being in Trump Tower and seeing Jeff Sessions and his wife, and the man was just on cloud nine. He was over the moon. He was so proud of Donald Trump. He had done so much to get him there. And it's really painful for those of us who respect the president and have known Jeff Sessions and respect Jeff Sessions to see this all happening. You know, Tucker, there are certain dominoes that fall. So if Sessions were to leave as AG, you have the deputy AG, really for all practical purposes, not just running the investigation, but everything at the Department of Justice. This is the person who I think kind of uh, balked at the first sign of, of trouble and actually was the one who picked the special counsel without running it by Jeff Sessions. Right. So it would be very ironic that the very deputy who did the thing that has the president and the rest of us so frustrated that we have this investigation on this wrong track would be the guy in charge of everything. And then they, they have to get a new guy into the top job, which is no easy task. Well, that's exactly it. So there are two levels to this. One is the fairness level, attacking the one guy who has helped you and is loyal to you and took the job really at some cost to himself. But the other is the practical level. So I get why the president's frustrated. I'm frustrated as a citizen watching this yeah. nonsense. But if Sessions were to leave, could the president get a new attorney general to his liking through the Senate? You served in the Senate for a long I time. Don't, I, not to his liking, not to my liking. It would, it would take a lot of Democrat votes, I think, to get get someone through, or at least some, I, I suspect. Uh, uh, it would be, but if nothing else, you would have several months of, of someone in charge at the Justice Department who is not friendly to Trump's the values are ours. Uh, I, I just hope um, and they can work this out. Tucker, right. this often happens when you're getting attacked right. from the outside. A staff start blaming each other, and, right. and it, the president doesn't need to be involved with this. Uh, it, they need to hang in there together as a team, and they can get this thing done. And, and they may. I mean, by the way, Sessions is still there, and apparently right. has no plans to leave unless asked to leave, unless fired. He and the president have not spoken as of airtime tonight. Do you think they will? Yeah, I do think they will. Look, it's between these two men to resolve this. Uh, Senator Sessions has a lot of his key former staff in key positions uh, throughout the White House. There are a lot of people who are on uh, the Trump, in the Trump administration who kind of got their start uh, with Jeff Sessions. So I'm hoping these two get it worked out. And really, the president, I under actually understand why he's frustrated. I think it's a fair thing for him to say I should have had a heads up that you were going to recuse yourself. I also think from letting, I'm not a lawyer, but I read the guidance. It seemed like the right thing to do to recuse himself. The person who I think balked and flinched was this deputy AG who picked the special counsel. And I think that's really a point of concern. And what I think we don't want to do is anything that exacerbates that situation. So I'm hoping these two guys uh, get it resolved. You think it will be? I'm optimistic right now. It would be such a mistake, and it would just create another set of controversies and reasons to attack the president. And my hope is, as advisors, will say, let's let's talk with uh, Jeff Sessions. About I hope so, because a lot of powerful people on both sides dislike the president and they hate his message, and so you don't want to see him alienate the one group of people yeah. who agree with him yeah. and have mm -hmm. supported him. It seems yeah. to me. Thank you both Thanks very good. much. Thank you.